You're tuned to KEXP. It's live at home, and we are very pleased to have Faye Webster with us today performing some songs. This is Faye Webster. You're listening to KEXP at home in Athens, Georgia, except it's not my home. I live in Atlanta, but we're in Athens, Georgia today, and we're going to play some songs for you. i 
he called me and look you And every single word you say Makes me feel some type of way It's the thought of you that slightly scares me
That was Faye Webster live on KEXP at home in a studio. I don't know if anyone told you, but you're supposed to be at home, but it sounded fantastic. So thank you so much for joining (laughs) us here. Thanks for having me. Recording in Athens, Georgia for those songs. Yeah, um, I've kind of always just recorded in Athens. I don't know, it's always been like my second home. I feel like half my band is there, my parents are there. Really talented musicians, engineers. So it's just like, I just go there. (laughs) I just go there and record. Does that mean you're working on new material at the moment? For sure, I actually just, uh, just finished. Just finished the new record. Oh, congratulations. When can we expect that down the pipeline? Uh, Word on the street is uh, June. June, excellent. Something to look forward to in this abyss of 2021. (laughs) So I wanted to uh, share a quick picture that will either derail this interview or keep it going. But this is a picture of Cheryl Waters' producer, Aaron, who sets all these up. So I'm going to share a quick picture for you. see if I can find it. The anticipation. Boy. Okay, here it should be coming through. Can you see it? (laughs) Yes, I see it. Bro, I I literally saw this on Halloween. Are you really? (laughs) Yes, this person tagged me on Halloween and I was like, this is funny. That's so, crazy. Erin made me promise. She said, uh, just promise her I'm not crazy. Uh, just a fan of recreating album covers of my Girl, favorites. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> I think it's funny. I definitely did hit their page and was like, I noticed it was, you know, a, a few a few album covers. But that's funny. That's a lot of dedication. <laughs> that that chocolate definitely made me sick at the time. So, how many How many of those did you have to go through for the photo shoot? We did like, we bought like a hundred coins and then probably did three different photo shoots for it until we had the one we liked. <laughs> but the, the chocolate on my mouth is actually Nutella. We had like, spat, there's somebody with a spatula of Nutella just like slapping it around my mouth until it was so disgusting. I was literally so sick and did not eat chocolate for a very long time. I always thought that would be the coolest job, those people that prep the food and commercials to make it look like extra delicious yeah like yeah. the milk the that milk was, that's actually glue not extra delicious no. <laughs> it was gross i see some tweets sometimes where it's like i just saw this album on this shelf in the store and i only bought it because it looks gross <laughs> like i don't know who this person is or what this album is but i'm curious they're absolutely repulsed that's a selling tactic these days yeah people either hate it or love it <laughs> I kind of like the people who hate it. Yeah. Have you ever dressed up as anybody, any musical heroes for Halloween? Are you a Halloween person? I am not a Halloween person at all. Not me neither, Sorry. actually. <laughs> I, I don't think I've, I don't think I ever have. I just, I dressed up as Elvis one time at like my fourth birthday party. Just peanut butter and fried banana sandwiches. That's a good costume. Like I can see that. In the summer. <laughs> dressing up as Elvis. Yeah, I got to, we we do a kid's dance party for Halloween, so I got like a gigantic David Byrne stop making sense Fire. suit. Yeah, that was fun. And then, then I went to a rave and then I can't remember what happened, but the suit worked out perfect. Oh, I thought you were going to say, I, I don't remember what happened to the suit. <laughs> I still have it. I could have worn it actually, since we're extra, Dang. extra at home here. <laughs> I should have at least dressed up for this. That's sick. Yeah. I have another question for you. So what was like the cooler moment for you? Um, Singing Take Me Out to the Ball Game at a Braves game or finding out that Better Distractions was included on President Obama's favorite music of 2020 list? Um, Honestly, I mean, shout out Sasha and Barack, but... The Braves game was pretty cool. It was just, it was funny because I was just, that was at like the peak of my phase and I got to meet the players and like, 
I sang so horribly. I literally, that's funny that you bring that up because 30 minutes before this, I was testing my mic with my manager and I, we were talking about it and I sent him, the Braves sent me the like, uh, jumbotron video, like straight out the mic audio and video. And I was just like screaming, not even singing. Well, if people haven't seen it, I mean, you're you're on top of the dugout, and it's, there's. Oh gosh. <laughs> it looked cool though. Like, was that was that intimidating or frightening, or was it just like super exciting? It was to so be crazy. There? It was so yeah. crazy. Before I did it, it was like every second I was like, I gotta pee, I gotta pee. My friends were like, Bro, you do not have to pee. <laughs> like, <laughs> you are clearly nervous. It's okay. But it was so fun. Once I did it, it was like that was kind of a joke like <laughs> they introduced me as like you know musician Faye Webster and I was like I was not singing I was shouting and screaming it was so sick but you got to meet the players and like go down on the fields did you take batting practice I did well okay meet the players as in I exclusively got to meet Ronald Acuna Jr. oh really damn that's awesome but that's kind of all I cared about <laughs> at the time so it was cool but yeah, I did, cl- I did get to go down on the field before the game started. And okay, so the Obama, the Obama stuff I'll, is I'll like, eh. pick. Okay. So the Obama stuff, not that exciting. No, I mean, no, no big that deal. Was, that was really cool. No. <laughs> yeah, I it was, was cool. killed. It just wasn't like in real life, you know? I no, totally, yeah. I real life stuff. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I remember some of that sort of a little bit. Do you think, uh, did, did, you, did the Obama playlist inclusion, did it cause like a surge of um, views on Spotify or anything? Um, honestly, I have never checked. I am not a numbers person, which is, I don't know. I don't even know. Uh, I should probably look at how my uh, streams are going. <laughs> And also, President Obama, if you're listening, if uh, President Obama is watching this, um, I am available for any sort of jobs or State Department roles or anything you need. I'm available if he's watching. Or Sasha. Or Sasha. Yeah. Anybody, anybody in the family. um, I'm I'm very hireable right now and I'm very much at home in this bed. (laughs) Like I said, we are super at home today. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, what else? Oh, I was watching. So yeah, I was going through some of the videos, music videos, which are fantastic. I love the compositions and the bright colors and the different themes and everything. Um, in the Kingston music video, how did you, where were you filming with all those flamingos in the background? I was in Florida sarasota i was in sarasota florida it was the only place i could find where they would let me be like in the in the flamingo habitat but apparently it's like that's what they're known for so you like pay to like you know walk around with wild flamingos well (laughs) they're not wild flamingos (laughs) they're in sarasota florida but um yeah they're not like you know sectioned off or whatever it was kind of cool. It was kind of, it was mostly scary was, uh, how I felt. I also I was... went during breeding season. <laughs> and when we got there, there were all these signs that were like, watch out. Flamingos are really aggressive right now. <laughs> we had to like take down these signs cause they were in those shot. But I definitely, I got bit a couple times. I have some yeah. footage of me getting bit. I was going to say like, what kind of nature preserve is this where you can just like shoot a music video? <laughs> amongst all these things i mean it looks amazing but i would be scared too like thank you they're pretty big and they've got those big beaks they are and they're mean and they're mean they're mean mean. and they all had names and there was this one who was just mm, out for me we were like hey watch out for roger (laughs) roger's Uh, on the move (laughs) everybody knows to watch out for roger there it's a bad character yeah so you did get bit it it was cool I did get bit. My God. I got bit and it uh, smelled really bad. Those are my only memories. Well, the visuals but are I had fun. what counts. I love that video. Also, in the music video, you were figure skating too. Do you know how to figure skate or did you learn it for that video? 
No. And I uh, took skating lessons with um, this instructor in Atlanta. And she was just like teaching me for probably two weeks up to it. And then when the video day came, I was like, you know what? I'm not much better than I was two weeks ago. And so uh, her daughter was doing all the cool tricks and we pretended like it was me. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't, I, I thought it was Spoiler, zero. spoiler alert. Okay. I was going to say, yeah, figure skating is not the easiest maybe, thing maybe to I pick have up. Maybe I it. Ugh, sorry to, sorry to burst the bubble. Yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. It's fun, but it's definitely, yeah, that's, that's not me. Uh, that's not me doing those spins, the figure eights. Damn, I shouldn't have said anything. Sorry about that. <laughs> nah, that's cool. That's a cool, I feel like that's a cool BTS fact. That's yeah, not all, out there. All the behind the scenes. Um, anyway, I love that music video too. Um, and then I love the, well, this is kind of a gossip part, but for the music video uh, in a good way. So one of the top uh, YouTube comments, as uh, someone says, um, I dated her cousin, LOL, and she came to my house and played Smash Bros. And then it's the, like, gritted teeth emoji. So I'm wondering if you, like, did you go to someone's house and, like, badly beat someone at Smash Brothers and they're mad? Or they were they just, like, excited? Oh, I'm there? so good at Smash Brothers. I grew up playing that on the 64. I've just, like, mastered Ness. So good at playing as Ness. Definitely probably went to this person's house and uh, beat him up with some Ness hands. But, oh, my gosh, dude, that's you, so funny. I literally, I hate reading my YouTube comments. So Oh, no, you should never do it. <laughs> Don't do it. said about me. But that but, that's so interesting. That is do you know so, who it might cool. be? Do you know who it might be? Are they saying that I dated their cousin or that they dated my cousin? I think they said they were dating your cousin. Okay. <laughs> All right. This will be fascinating for the one, the one I'm YouTuber. To, I'll have to think on this one. Okay, so Ness is your character. That's funny. That's very funny. Yeah. I appreciate that comment. <laughs> okay. But oh, Ness is funny. your character to go to, right? Ness, Bumblebee Ness. Ness with mm -hmm. the uh, yellow and black shirt. Very good. I'm a young Link person myself, though I'm terrible at it. That's cool. I, I, it's okay to be I, bad at some things. Ugh, I'm bad at everything. I thought I thought this quarantine would be good for developing skills. Like I started cooking, and then I found out like I hate cooking, so that was a total flop. But Dang. yeah, this has been. This you'll is, you'll find your calling, Sean. This has been bad. I'm trying, doing my best here. Um, for. <laughs> For viewers who don't know, too, speaking of uh, hobbies and stuff, you're quite the prolific, is it yo-yoer, would you say? Yo-yo enthusiast? It, you, you can say yo-yoer. How does the community refer? True. And there's a lot of videos uh, in there. The community, I've heard the community say yo-yoers and yo-yo players. It's like a, seems like a sport for honestly how big the community is and how good they are. It's kind of creepy. I went to the, it's not creepy. It's <laughs> sick and it's my favorite thing. But it's funny because when you think of yo-yo, it's just like, okay, here's a plastic Duncan toy. And it's like, nope. <laughs> it's like, here's thousands of people in battling against each other right now doing crazy stuff you've never seen but yeah i went to the world yo-yo tournament uh i guess 2019 or 2018 because the this this upcoming one got canceled um but it's crazy it's beautiful i love it part of part of my research was i ended up just like i should have been learning more about you but i watched like a ton of like yo-yo videos just like an hour of them who'd you watch uh, there was this guy, Tony, players? Tony Sec on Tony Instagram. Tony Sex! Yeah. Woo! 
That's my friend. I made a I made a yo yo with Tony. He has a signature called the Movement, and he let me do a colorway, and I did like this like sprinkle birthday cake yo yo with him. He's so good. It was He's it was Chicago wild. It was just... goodness. It was almost uh, like Tony is a beast. It was almost so good that I was like getting upset at it. I was like, yeah. I mean, it's like you <laughs> see it, and it's like that's not what I thought uh yo yo was it's crazy that kid is like 18 19 he's so good yeah that just made me feel bad about quarantine again <laughs> but it Shout was it was me. awesome i loved watching those videos I, I saw a video of a an elephant with a yo-yo that was pretty cool link me yeah next time i have not so you seen got... that one <laughs> You've got the flamingos, maybe elephants next for the next uh, video shoot. Elephants yo-yo link. Yeah, you've got. Is that part of the stage pattern now? Is yo-yo tricks? Um, I was. There was one uh, tour where I was opening for Estella Donnelly, and I had my brand new plastic yo-yo that you know you couldn't even do tricks with, just like a responsive up and down yo-yo. And I would do some tricks. I would do some tricks. I would like throw the yo-yo and then jump <laughs> and pull the yo-yo back up. If you consider that a trick. Uh, but I don't know. I feel like now that I've gotten uh, better at it and actually been practicing and like spending time around people in the community, I haven't had a tour yet where I'm uh, able to show off. Have you ever like whacked yourself in the face really bad, like when it's spinning around? Yes, I think I'm gonna make a compilation because I I video myself yo-yoing so I can see what's wrong with my posture and like fix it. And I have I need to make like a edit all my mess ups together because I've hurt my hand really bad and my forehead. They're metal now. Like the yo-yos that real people play with are metal, so it hurts. Damn, I thought you meant like, like super goth metal, like subculture, like intense. But they're oh, literally metal no, no, now. No. They're okay. made out of metal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Some rough characters you've been hanging out with, I guess. I was reading about, so the title for Atlanta Millionaires Club, can you explain a little bit about where that came from? Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of funny because b before I even, um, I, ha I had done some songs, but before I finished the record, I was like, I'm naming my next record Atlanta Millionaires Club and like I'm making a scratch off and do it like I already had it all I don't say that phrase once in the album at all but I was just like this is what I want it to be called um but it's just my my dad and his friends when he was my age just called each other the Atlanta Millionaires Club and they would just like, I don't know, hang out and do stuff, <laughs> but like label themselves as the Atlanta Millionaires Club. And around that era when I was making that record, I was wearing his old shirts every day. They just had shirts for like everything they did. They would be like, we walked in the park this day. And it would be like Atlanta Millionaires Club donut contest or like, something stupid that they would be doing but i wore those shirts all the time and i feel like a lot of my friends kind of just eventually associated me with that so i was like you know this kind of explains the chapter that i'm going through in my life so i just named it that i i uh gave my dad a little shout out um and the artwork but yeah that's that's kind of where it came from now what was the part about the donut eating <laughs> They, they would do like these 5K races and then right when you finish the 5K race, you have to do a donut eating contest. I don't know. Just like, you know, dumb college kids stuff. I don't know. 
but it, it was it was cool it kind of reminded me of like you know awful records in my time on awful records just like friends being in a group and just like i don't know i think it's a cool concept at the end of the I, day i like the idea of of eating donuts that sounds appealing for sure sounds horrible <laughs> sounds horrible you already did it with the chocolate coins you may as well move on to donuts yeah and it was horrible <laughs> that's true are you uh are you still doing um commercial photography or is that more just of a hobby right now um i like to i kind of um was doing more of it when i wasn't touring you know like when i didn't really know who faye webster was still trying to figure it out and now that i've like am so busy all the time i've kind of resorted to point and shoot which i really enjoy a lot of my favorite photographers i feel like have that that style so i've been having a lot of fun with that and like taking pictures on the tour taking pictures of my friends it's 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 a hobby i suppose but it's really fun it's definitely like very important to me so you feel like you've been creative through this quarantine or is it a struggle to kind of get yourself going creatively personally I think like people have have this idea built up for artists over quarantine like oh you're stuck at home and you are probably writing so many songs I can't wait you're probably gonna put out three albums when you know quarantine's over and it's just like I'm personally struggling with that so much because to me it's like I I just want to be creative when I want to be creative and I feel like all this pressure is taking the fun out of it like these expectations and it's just like I don't know it's funny because I haven't really talked to anybody else about it but I I haven't really I mean I made a record that's coming out soon which is cool but you would think I had a lot of songs a lot of new songs outside of that and it's like I don't know I've never I've also never been one of those people to you know be like okay Sunday 4 p.m you got a writing session Monday, we're going to try it. And it's just like, I can't, I can't schedule or, you know, force myself to be creative. It's very hard. So yeah, I personally been struggling with that. I can understand. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing going on. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I talk yeah. to people, I'm just like, I, I panic. I'm like, I, I've done nothing this week. Yeah. Yeah. I that's me. <laughs> that's me. I, I think it's a, I think it's a lot of people. I'm I'm curious, you know, if I cuz I guess there won't be like one single day where it's like, all right, we're moving on, we're starting over. It's just kind of this like slow crawl and then I'm not really sure where it's headed, but Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. But you got a record done, so that probably counts for some creativity. For sure. I feel like, yeah, that's only something I get to do every two years or so. So well, I'm very excited. The songs you played uh, sounded absolutely fantastic. I was almost a little suspicious. They almost sounded too close to the album. It's supposed <laughs> to be at, like I said, it's supposed to be at home. We'd prefer if you did better next time. I'm dead. That's funny. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, we'll look forward to uh, a new record maybe in June, fingers crossed, but sometime soon for sure. And uh, thank you so much, Faye, for coming in and being thank a you. part of KEXP Live at Home. My name's Sean, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org. Nice.